Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Realme U1 which is the new smartphone and this is a selfie centric uh, smartphone from Realme and guys as you can see it's a review on it so nothing is listed over here and they have sent us the 4GB RAM variant that comes with 64GB of internal storage. There will be also one more variant that comes with uh, 3GB of RAM and that will have 32GB of uh, storage and as you can see the pricing is not there on this phone so I don't know the exact pricing I'll leave the link in the description description area uh, when I have the pricing I'll write it over there but I expect again as it's a real me device the pricing will be very aggressive and this comes with the MediaTek's new Helio P70 chipset which is the new chipset and uh, this is the success to the P60 uh, so if they are aggressive I think so the base variant they might price it around 12 to 13,000 or something like that in my opinion but we'll know the pricing later on so looks like we have to open this and we get the sim ejector tool and we also get a quick start guide basic stuff and we also get a what do you say these uh, rubber type of cases in the box and uh, this one is also supposed to have a 6.3 inch uh, screen and uh, half that drop design we saw on the realme 2 pro as you can see that we have so it's having a 6.3 inch screen and uh, it's uh, uh, what do you say it's a full HD plus screen guys so that's actually a nice thing and uh, as you can see on the back uh, we do have a fingerprint scanner and dual camera setup and this is supposed to be a selfie focused uh, smartphone because the front facing camera is a 25 megapixel shooter let's put this case and see how it actually looks I'm putting it uh, yeah this is how it goes so this case is actually pretty tight very tight case so yeah this is how it looks in the case i'll just keep this to the side and let's see what else so yeah that comes out and this looks like a oneplus charger in terms of looks i would say obviously it's not it's a normal charger guys five volts at two amps that we are getting and that's what uh, that's it we also have a USB cable so no headset in the box so that's what we get in the box let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset itself so this is the device itself and um, they've sent us this uh, black color I believe there are other uh, vibrant colors also for this one and uh, looks like they have applied a screen guard a screen guard is pre-applied guys but they say that it is having gorilla glass 3 protection anyways let me give you a physical overview uh, on the top actually we have nothing over here and on this end we just have the power on off button gives a good tactile feel bottom we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack micro usb port that will be used for charging and this will be the speaker and here we have a lot of ports we have the volume rocker and even the sim tray let's look at the sim tray and see the configuration and uh, so as you can see it has a dedicated slot for micro sd card slot and i think so that's a good thing because if you go over the three gigabyte variant that comes with 32 gb of internal storage and two nano sims and again guys this is also uh, true dual 4g volte because it's having the p70 chipset it has all the features of the p70 uh, p60 so uh, let me just power this on guys and um, and by the time i boot it up and set it up let me give you a configuration overview this uh, realme u1 is having a 6.3 inch ips uh, lcd screen which is a full hd plus screen and the 19.5 is to 9 ratio it's protected by gorilla glass 3 it's powered by the mediatek's new helio p70 chipset which is an octa core processor it comes in 3 or 4 gigabytes of ram and 32 or 64 gb of internal storage moving to the rear facing camera it's a dual camera setup 13 megapixel plus 2 and the front facing camera is a 25 megapixel camera which is a sony sensor and it has a 3500 milliamp hour battery so guys i've just finished uh, setting up this device and again it runs on that custom ui known as color os that we see on every other uh, realme phone that hasn't changed uh, but uh, if you go over here we have the quick toggles and let's see if we go to about the phone uh, as you can see it's running on the android version 8.1 so still on oreo I hope they release Android Pie for this soon. Let's just go back over here. And as you can see, I have the 4 gigabyte RAM variant that actually comes with 64 uh, gigabytes of uh, internal storage. And out of that 64 gigabytes, as you can see, we have about 48.1 gigabytes of space uh, left. And the ColorOS version is 5.0. 
2 and if we go over here again the notch is not that big in this drop down design so uh, again a familiar uh, ui if you have used any color os not my favorite i would say ui but yeah this is what we are getting and regarding wi-fi it actually has dual band uh, uh, wi-fi so that's a nice thing and let's look at the fingerprint scanner here we have it and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is really fast on this phone so nice to see that they have put a fast fingerprint scanner and i've also uh, enabled what do you say the face unlocking so let's see and it has unlocked as you can see uh, so let me show you i'll just put it on and as it, the moment i see it is unlocking so you have face unlocking option and even the fingerprint i feel the fingerprint is very fast so you should use it and again regarding this chipset this is a successor to the p60 the p60 was a very powerful uh, chipset and this p70 actually uh, is slightly better in gpu as some uh, more ai features and also it, it is clocked slightly higher let's see if we can delete uh, some of these uh, apps oops i went to the ui if i hold this so yes there is some junk installed as you can see some let's say you don't want paytm so you can remove the some of the junk that is actually pre-installed so uh, that's what we, it is and uh, biggest thing about this smartphone i would say is the camera uh, but from the back if you notice it looks like glass uh, guys it's not glass it's a sort of acrylic sheet that we have seen even on the realme 2 pro uh, so it actually looks like glass but it is not the glass guys now let's also look at the what do you say camera on this uh, because i feel that's the highlighting point about this one apart from the new chipset that they're using the p70 and uh, this is the default ui and we have the 1x and 2x option as you can see and the shutter speed if you notice is really fast and we do have hdr auto this is nice again i think so all this is due to the p70 chipset that's a very powerful chipset with a lot of ai capability so looks like they are actually using it and it's uh, updating some stuff so we have that uh, this is the timer mode and uh, this is the super vivid mode so we have some modes over here and we also have the portrait mode i guess natural lighting oh we even have the lighting mode so this is interesting as you can see we can change the lighting mode uh, here and it mid-tone monochrome flim light so again you have a lot of options if you go in the portrait mode uh, and this is a, supposed to be 25 megapixel as you can see it's auto focus it's focusing and uh, this is in the portrait mode so that beauty five and all those things are there as you can see smart ai and all this stuff but let me remove it i don't like it but you have that option so it even has hdr auto so let me do one thing guys let me actually take some sample shots with this uh, device so that you have a better idea so these are some of the sample shots taken with the rear facing camera in outdoor conditions and as you can see in terms of color reproduction and sharpness the rear facing camera is actually pretty good i also took some close-up macro shots with this one and as you can see here also i have a lot of detail and that background blur these are some of the samples taken in indoor lighting conditions and yes it does decent in, even in indoor lighting conditions but if you go in very low lighting conditions yes the picture tends to become a little bit soft and these are samples taken with the front facing camera and i feel the front facing camera is the strength of this device and as you can see even with that background blur it does a good job with the front facing camera and these are some of the samples that i took in outdoor conditions with the front facing camera let me also show you the video recording with the front facing camera recording this video with the front facing camera of this realme u1 and i'm recording it at 1080p and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone i just wanted to uh, show you guys how would be the video recording if you use it like this that is uh, vlog style so this is a very quick sample of the video taken with the front facing camera of this realme u1 so guys uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this realme u1 and also in terms of uh, the weight i forgot to mention uh, though it's having that 3500 milliamp hour battery uh, the hands
balance it does not feel uh, heavy or big even though it's having that 6.3 inch screen so the weight balance has been done very well so anyways guys what do you guys think about this realme uh, u1 device uh, do let me know in the comment section and um, if you have any other specific questions regarding this device do let me know i'll try to include them in my future videos anyways guys that's it for now for this unboxing and if you guys are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys